Uh, well, I'll start by by asking if you were a big fan of the, the Muppets growing up, and if so, yeah. you must have been rather excited when you got the call for this part. Yeah, crazy excited. Overly excited. You know what I mean? Like, I actually... I gave away, I showed all my cards, <laughs> like immediately. I was so, I have a hard time playing it cool in general, in life. Um, but that was a, a true example of me not being able to keep like my cool. I giggled and just couldn't believe that I was being asked to do the Muppets. I still can't actually. Um, I'm glad they've done me the favor of not putting my face on that poster because every time I do see my face on a Muppets poster, I feel like I'm somebody slipped me some peyote. <laughs> but I mean, the Muppets are so distinguishable and so real as kind of characters. Yeah. How, how was what's the sort of dynamic like? Did you say, oh, I've got a scene with um, with Kermit later? Or would would you address them as the the voice actor? What how did it all sort of work in that respect? Um, you know, it becomes sort of seamless. Those those men and women are so kind. Um, you do get you do get into a lot of conversations off screen, but it becomes sort of seamless between the two because I got to know the 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 men and women really well. But you get into the scene and you actually you know you do actually talk you do chat in between scenes in character. You know they their arms get tired fast and they'll they'll put down the the Muppets, but um, it's kind of weird. Like, it's hard to know which one's weirder. Like, is it weirder that you're first, at first you're like, oh wow, there's, the, to see all the machinations, or then when you're actually just having a regular chat with, <laughs> with Kermit the Frog. So it, I guess it does require a sort of suspension of disbelief then when you're, when you're yeah. on the screen. Well, yeah, it's, it requires a suspension of disbelief watching it in the theater. So it definitely requires a suspension of disbelief when you're actually you know, doing it. And uh, with your role, was there any way you could have made him slightly more French? I just wasn't sure just, if he was just, French enough. Just a little more French. <laughs> like now with 10% real French juice. <laughs> and uh, as for the French accent, it's pretty good. Did that take a while to perfect? Um, I perfect is uh, uh, overestimating my accent. But um, I did work uh, at it a fair amount with a lovely woman named Jill McCullough, who was an accent, a dialect coach. And she got me somewhere near France, like just off the coast of Normandy. And uh, who's your favorite ever Muppet? Uh, it changes all the time. At this moment, it's Gonzo. Mm. Uh, but I'm guessing having spent a lot of time uh, with him, Sam Eagle must be uh, quite Oh yeah, fun. I'm a huge fan of Sam. Uh, I'm, I just call, I'm just calling him Sam Eagle because Sam the Eagle, I don't know if he's really proven to us that he's an actual eagle. And there are very few blue eagles that I've noticed. Um, but he's an awesome character. And, and Sam and Jean-Pierre basically have this platonic love affair. So, yeah, they're the best. And uh, not only have you done The Muppets, but obviously Mr. Peabody and Sherman. And yeah. you're voicing a role in Finding Dory as yeah, well. Yeah, it's uh, just a... What is it about the, the kind of children's animation or just children's productions that sort of appeal to you? It's actor? just a whole f uh, like um, festival of me trying to impress my children <laughs> to no avail so far. Um, it's been really fun. It's been a complete coincidence, honestly, the family stuff. I actually have a movie coming out in the fall uh, called Skeleton Twins that's, you know, very grown up. Um, but it's just like this, this strange coincidence that I've done all these family films at the same time, but I'm thrilled to do them. I'm fans of all of them. So but just very quickly, can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about your role in Finding Dory? Very excited about it. I can't it. tell you much uh, because I don't know that much yet. It's so, you know, that process is so long. I think that movie's coming out in like 2065. And um, basically I'm playing a beluga whale in the, you know, we're, we're finding Dory. We're looking for Dory. Um, uh, Bailey is his name, and I'm, you know, trying to help. Lovely. Well, thank yeah. you so much for Absolutely. your time today. Much appreciated. Thanks.